Hello there to our math wizards out there. Kumusta kayo? Sana kayo ay nasa maayos na kalagayan at welcome sa ating quarter 2. Tayo ay nasa unang linggo na. We are at our first week of your lesson for quarter 2 for mathematics grade 5. And for this week, we're going to discuss about division of fractions using models. So, paano ba tayo magde-divide ng fraction gamit ang iba't ibang modelo? So, for our Lesson objective, so we have one by the end of the quarter, the learners are able to divide fractions using models. Okay, so before that, let's have our short review for our first day. So recall the concept of division as equal sharing. So let's read and analyze the given word problem. So Jen is preparing identical loot bags for her birthday. She plans to give away the loot bags to street children. She has 135 pieces of goodies in 15 party bags. How many goodies must she put in each party bag? So how many groups of 15 are there in 135? So the answer is 9. So therefore, Jen must put 9 goodies in each bag. Okay, so let us try this activity. So suppose the given numbers in a division problem are fractions. So how will you find the quotient? So let's use the models to find the quotient. So we have here divide two-thirds by one-third. Okay, so we have here a picture of a pizza. So the first picture tells us that two-thirds are left okay, of the pizza. And then yung two-thirds na yun, we're going to divide it by one-third. Okay, so now how many thirds or one-third are there in two-thirds? Okay, so in this week's lesson, we will learn how to divide fractions using models. So for some, sabi nga, mas madaling nilang nauunawaan ang problema or yung word problem when there are pictures or models. Mas madaling napoproseso sa utak nila yung pag-solve ng isang word problem when there are models. So we have here, Okay, we're going to try to answer okay, two-thirds by one-third. So we have the picture of the pizza. Okay. Okay, so imagining that pizza, okay, we have there a whole pizza and it was divided by uh, three equal sizes. Okay, so we have three equal sizes or thirds. Now we shade two out of three slices, so that's two-thirds of the pizza. Now, we ask, okay, so how many one-third slices are there in the shaded part? So, we have the answer is two. Okay, so therefore, we conclude that two-thirds divided by one-third is equal to two. Okay, so let's have dividing fractions using models. So, okay, like in whole number division, dividing fractions means equal sharing or grouping. Let us solve the following problem using models and number lines. So our first problem is a baker is making croissants. Each croissant is made from pound of dough. If the baker has a pound of dough, how many croissants can he make? Okay, so let's try to picture out. Okay, so solution using model. So how many eighths or one eighths are there in three fourths? So Okay, in writing it in a um, proper way, so we have 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth divided are, is equal to n. So sabi nga, ilang 1 eighth ang kakasya sa 3 fourth. Okay, so now paano natin makikita yon? So how would you show how many 1 eighths are there in 3 fourths? Okay, so we have here, okay, as what you can see, a rectangle. So the first one, okay, representing 3 fourths. Yung, isang, yung ating rectangle is divided into four equal parts. And three, okay, is shaded. So three parts of the triangle is shaded. So it represents three-fourths. And then the other one, okay, so yung three-fourth, ginawa nating um, denominator is A. So kumbaga, inayos natin siya. So three-fourth is equal to six over 8. Okay. So, pinalitan natin yung 3 4 na may denominator ngayon na 8 na at yung 3 4 ay naging 6 over 8. So, ngayon, so notice that 3 4 is also equal to 6 over 8. So, now, yung may shaded na, na kung baga kung makikita natin, ilan yung 
shaded area doon sa ating second rectangle. So, there are 6 eighths, okay, or 6 1 eighths in 3 fourths. So, therefore, the baker can make 6 croissants. Okay, so sabi nga, no, bilangin natin ngayon kung ilan yung 1 eighth na mayroon sa loob ng 6 over 8. So, may anim na peraso tayo na um, squares no sa loob ng um, 6 over 8. So, therefore, kaya naman, mayroon tayong anim na peraso ng 1 eighth sa loob ng 3 fourths. So, therefore, we conclude 3 over 4 or 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth is equal to 6. So, this time, let's use the number lines. So, show 3 fourths and 8 on a number line. So, the first thing that you need to do is draw a line from 0 to 1. And then, mark with 8. So start with 0, okay? And then, 1 8, 2 over 8, 3 over, three over 8, until 7 over 8. Now, show and count equal jumps of 8 on a number line. Okay, so how many jumps of 1, 8 fit into 6 over 8? So, therefore, the answer is 6. Okay, so there are 6 equal jumps of 8 on the number line. Therefore, the baker can make 6 croissants. Okay, so nagpakita tayo ng dalawang paraan kung paano mag-divide ng fraction gamit yung model. So, the first one, gumamit tayo ng rectangle. And then the second one, we use a number line. To analyze and divide fractions okay so let's have more examples of fraction uh, of fraction division using models so this time divide 4 over 8 by 1 over 8 so same thing draw a number line from 0 to 1 and then maglagay ng uh, maglagay tayo ng mark now from 1 over 8 to 7 over 8 so now 4 over 8 Okay, gaano kadaming jump ang pwede nating um, gawin okay, sa loob ng um, 4 over 8. Okay, so 4, 1 eighths and 4 over 8. Okay, so we have another example. So divide 1 half by 1 fourth. So yung una, makikita natin yung ating square. Okay, divide it by 2, the shaded 1. Okay, represents 1 half. And yung 1 half, okay, i-divide natin sa 1 fourth. So sa second picture, makikita na natin yung square is now divided by 4. Now, how many fourths or 1 fourth are there in 1 half? So there are 2 1 fourth, so makikita natin, no, may shade yung dalawa, there are 2 1 fourths in 1 half. So therefore, 1 half divided by 1 fourth is equal to 2. So let us also remember that the concepts of common denominators and equivalent fractions are applied to model fraction division. So for example, so for instance, 4 is a common den denominator of 1 half and 1 fourth. Okay? Now, 2 fourth is an equivalent fraction of 1 half. Hence, dividing 1 half by 1 fourth is the same as dividing 2 fourths by 1 fourth. So, how many 1 fourths are there in 2 fourths? So, the illustration shows that there are 2 1 fourths in 2 fourths. Okay. So, let's also remember okay, that the least common denominator or, or LCD is practically preferred in identifying common denominators although other common denominators can also be utilized. The advantage of LCD is that it simplifies calculation since it deals with smaller values. Okay, so we have here another example. Example 3, find the quotient 9 over 10 divided by 2 over 5 is equal to and so now let's illustrate 9 over 10 and 2 over 5. So the first one, okay, so we have here, okay, our long rectangle divided equally, okay, by 9, okay, by 10. And then the shaded part symbolizes 9 over 10 or 9 tenths. Well, the second picture, okay, or illustration shows same, okay. Magkaparehas na sukat ng ating bar. Okay, we can call this a bar. And then, hinati siya into 5 equal parts. And then, shaded yung 2 to represent 2 fifths. Now, the question is, how many 2 fifths are there in 9 over 10? 
Okay, so ngayon, notice that k2 over 5 or 2 fifths is equal to 4 over 10. Okay, so tingnan natin. So, hinati siya, ano? And then, therefore, 9 over 10 divided by 2 fifths is equal to 2 and 1 fourth. Okay. So, still, another example, okay? Our another illustration, so 9 over 10 divided by 2 fifths. Okay, we have here a pentagon illustration. Now, let's count how many 2 fifths are there in 9 over 10. Okay, so we have here, okay, 2, okay, 1 and 2. And then this part, okay, yung shaded part na natira is 1 fourth of 2 fifths. So, if 2 fifths is divided into 4 equal parts, one part is one fourth of two over fifths. So therefore, okay, there are two and one fourth two fifths in nine over ten. So this means that nine over ten divided by two fifths or two over five is equals to two and one fourth or nine over four. Okay. So another example, two third divided by one half is equal to n. So gaano karaming one fifth. Okay, ang mayroon sa 2 thirds. So, divide 2 thirds into 5 equal parts. So, in the whole, 1 fifth is made up of 3 parts. Okay, so, which means 1 fifth is equals to, also equal to 3 over 15. So, therefore, 2 thirds divided by 1 over 5 is equals to 3 and 1 third. Okay, so, again, okay, let's remember the concept of common denominators and equivalent fractions are applied in this part. So, for instance, 2 thirds is equivalent to 10 over 15 and 1 fifth can be expressed as 3 over 15. So, to determine how many 3 fifteens are there in 10 over 5, the fraction 10 over 15 can be divided by 3 over 15. So, example 5, 1 half divided by 3 fourth is equal to n. So, gaano ka naming 3 fourth? ang na mayroon sa 1 half. So, again, we have the bar. The first bar represents 1 half. Okay? And then, the second one is uh, 3 fourths. Okay? So, 1 half is 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So, therefore, 1 half divided by 2 thirds is equals to 2 over 3. Okay? Let's try our lesson activity. So, this can be seen okay in your worksheet activity one so you can answer this one and find the quotient using models so we have six over seven divided by one over seven or one seventh is equals to n nine tenths divided by three tenths five over eight divided by five over sixteen four over five divided by two over fifteen Okay, so let me share with you okay, the solution. So for number 1, it's 6 over 7 divided by 1 over 7. Okay, so that would be the illustration. For letter B, 9 or okay, the answer for letter A is 6. Okay, so for letter B, 9 tenths divided by 3 tenths is equal to 3. Okay, letter C... 5 over 8 divided by 5 over 16 is equal to 2. And letter D, 4 over 5 divided by 2 over 15 is equals to K. Okay. okay, so for 4 over 5 divided by 2 over 15, the answer is 6. Okay, so another activity. Okay, this is activity 2. So, 1 fourth divided by 3 over 8, 3 over 7 divided by 3 fourth, 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth, and 7 over 12 divided by 5 over 6. Okay, let's have the solution. Okay, so for letter A, the answer is 2 thirds. Okay, so note that 1 fourth is 2 thirds of 3 over 8. So, for letter B, okay, the answer is 4 over 7. Okay, so let's note that 3 fourth is equals to 21 over 28. 
So three sevenths may be illustrated by transferring the shaded part in the last row to column four. Okay, so let's also note that three over seven is twelve over twenty-one, or four over seven of three fourth. Okay, and for letter C, the answer is two and two thirds. Letter D, okay. So 7 over 12 divided by 5 over 6 is equals to 7 over 10. Oh, I think it's 7 over... Okay. So 5, 6 is 7 out of 10... Uh, 7 over 10 of 7 over 12. Okay. So let's have... Okay, are your reflection and learning give instances when these lessons can be of help to you in cooking or baking what will happen if you do not follow the correct measurements or amount of ingredients okay and for our last day we have your formative test or formative assessment so answer the following questions through models so we have a five item uh, formative test for you to answer Okay, let's have our answer. Okay. So, let me share with you, okay, the key points in dividing fractions with models. So, division means how many groups. So, when we divide fractions, so we are asking how many times the second fraction fit into the first fraction. So, that is, yun yung basic na tanong na kailangan natin sagutin, no? Gaano ba karaming, uh, halimbawa, so one half, Okay, divided by 2 fourths. So, gaano ba karaming uh, 2 fourths ang kasya sa 1 half? Okay. So, next is use equivalent fractions to compare easily. So, sometimes we need to change the fractions into the same denominator so we can see clearly how many groups fit. So, for example, 4 over 5 is also equivalent to 12 over 15. Makes it easier to count 15s. Diba? Kung baga, i-convert muna natin siya, gagawin natin siyang same denominator para mas madali nating uh, makita kung gaano karami ang magkakasya. Okay? So, yung instead of 4 over 5, so, mas madali kapag gagawin natin 12 over 15. So, mas madaling mag-shade or ma-divide natin kaagad, makita natin kung gaano karami ang nire-represent nito, no, yung magkakasya kapag um, kinonvert natin or yung kumbaga ginawa natin ito with the same denominator. Okay. So, next, okay, would be may, uh, models make it visible. So, as what we are having in this lesson. So, you can use fraction bars, okay, show shaded parts and divide, the, divide them into equal groups. Okay, you can also use number lines. So, show jumps of the divisor fraction. Okay, and you can also use pizza or circle models to show slices. Okay, to count how many fit. Okay, and then, the answer is how many groups. If the shaded part is bigger, the answer is a whole number or more. If the shaded part is smaller, the answer is fraction. Okay, so... So, as we end this lesson, okay, so always remember, so when dividing fractions, think, how many times does the second fraction fit into the first? Use bars, pizzas, or number lines to see and count the groups. So, thank you for listening. So, this is Teacher Isa, and I hope, okay, you learned something from our lesson for this week for Mathematics Grade 5. So, thank you, and God bless you. Bye-bye.